Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning right now and we've been driving for an hour and a half. And here we are, we're almost at my parents' place in the countryside. We've been driving through various numerous villages and fields and forests and we are finally there, we're almost there. I can already see the lake. I don't know if you can see it guys, it's there like behind the bushes. And it's our lake, that's the place where we go fishing and boat riding. It's right next to my parents' house. It means that we are almost there. Yes, we are at my parents' place in the Russian countryside. The mosquitoes are all over me because I'm standing in the shade. Yeah, so let me show you a little bit of how things go whenever I come here to visit my parents. What do we do? How do we spend the time? And just, you know, I will just simply be filming everything that happens. <laughs> Kids are at the swings. <laughs> It's actually pretty hot today. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to change my shirt. Woo! <laughs> Sunny and nice here. Actually, um, life here is pretty much relaxing. Uh, but there's always some little things that you have to do every day. Like trimming the grass, like cutting off dried branches dry branches or like watering something some plants and stuff like that for those of you guys who haven't seen my last year's video on my parents country house oh well that's the house itself <laughs> and yeah i mean the windows are closed like this uh in order not to let the heat inside the house yeah so it's not it doesn't stay like this all the time it's just that when it's hot it's Better to close the windows like this and then open them up in in the evening. And yeah, the house is there and in front of me I have a lake. Let me show you. Everything is so close and that's why I like this place because you can just make a few steps and you can already have a lake in front of you where you can go fishing. Like Alex is really, really fond of fishing. Let me show you. So we just go over here open the door in the fence and I can already see the lake in front of me oh gosh I want to see that place oh it's so beautiful here these wildflowers look just like a carpet so tender and nice oh my gosh well okay let's go and see the lake Oh, there's one more thing that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, we call this a compost heap. That's the place where we throw out all the peels from vegetables and fruits. And we also bring the chopped grass over here to this place. And then later on when it rots, my mom uses it to fertilize whatever she grows in her garden. So here we go, that's the lake. Actually, this place is a bit swampy. That's why we have like branches here and the pallets are here as well. Yeah, because sometimes we have water over here. And yep, that's the place, that's the spot. You can fish from here, you can go boat riding. It's just so silent and relaxing over here. Actually, my dad um, cut down two trees here and made a branch over here to sit only this year like that's the new thing that's something that we didn't have last year so now we have this little spot where we can just enjoy yeah the fishing and everything wow the pine trees have really grown tall my parents planted them when they just bought this piece of land and now they're so huge and by the way this is not a pine tree this is a cedar tree and it's actually brought here from Siberia because such trees don't grow here.
And the reason why we have so many birds here is because there are bird houses on the trees. That's the new one that we have here. Uh, my dad builds them with his grandsons from time to time. And uh, yeah, we also have the second one, I think, the older one. Yes, it's here. It's over there. Birds come here every spring and they actually live in those houses. Well, it looks like the weather today is perfect for trimming the grass and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Though I do feel sorry that we're actually going to cut all these beautiful flowers. But I really have to do it now that I'm here um, because it's not really good for my dad to do the hard work at his age. So it's better if I help him, yeah. Me and my brothers and my nephew, we try to do all the hard work instead of our dad. Yes, my dad has an electric lawn mower. He likes it this way. The only inconvenience is that you always have to mind where the wire is in order not to cut it. the fact that our mower has this bucket to gather all the grass. After you finish trimming the grass, your lawn looks absolutely neat and clean. But yes, of course, it's very exhausting that you have to go and empty the bucket over and over again. I guess that's probably the hardest thing in uh, trimming the grass with this thing. Two hours later. We managed to trim about half of our garden, of uh, our yard, and it started raining. So actually, like I was uh, finishing trimming while it was already raining. And I'm so tired, I'm just exhausted. I feel sticky, <laughs> dirty. Um, my hands, well, I don't have any blisters yet, but my, my hands are really, really sore. So the first thing I want to do now is to drink a lot of water and take a shower. The result of today's work. As I was finishing trimming the grass, um, Alex was fishing with grandpa and he managed to catch two fishes by himself almost at once. He just sat down and caught the fish right away. That's really surprising. So let's go and see what what kind of fish he caught. <laughs> Вот это с мою руку. Ага. Ну да. Ну ты молодец, Алёш. Ты рад? Ну да. Кстати, даже вот рыба с первой. С первого раза была. Какая именно? Вот это первая, да? Ясно. Какие-то секреты, что ли, знаешь? О рыбе. Нет. Что так быстро рыбу поймал? Алёш. Что значит? Нет, как так-то? Дед сидит здесь Подожди, а она ее сразу подсел. Как это не ловит-то? Как не ловит-то? Ладно, пойдем собираем рыбу. Клади рыбку. Раз у тебя и так руки сейчас будут в рыбке. Молочинка. Давай я могу отнести. Спасибо.
Having worked so hard, I do deserve something tasty. I was craving for some fresh vegetable salad, and my mom made me a bowl of it with feta cheese. That's just the way I like it, so I'm going to enjoy it now. We bought some strawberries on our way here. It's from Krasnodar. That's a place uh, more to the south from where we are right now. Mmm, it's really good. I think we should buy more tomorrow. So here I am, refreshed after a shower, just ate my salad. Now I made myself a cup of coffee and I just sit here on the porch and just enjoy myself. <laughs> By the way, it was so hot when we were cutting the grass, trimming the grass, that after we finished, I felt such a severe headache. You have no idea. But now after a pill, everything is like, yeah, everything is back to normal again. <laughs> oh gosh, it feels so good right now here. So silent relaxing, the birds are chirping, and surprisingly, not a single mosquito. <laughs> no. Oh, no, we have mosquitoes here. Alyosha caught two more fishes, and one of them is actually pretty big. Oi, Alyosha, Alyosha, I'm pregnant. Руку приложи, чтобы было видно, как они висят. Ух ты, классно. Свою. Вот моя рука. Вот, видишь? Моя рука. Какой ну да. Ну ты, ну мне кажется, хватит уже на сковородку-то. Да, хватит. Хорошо, хорошо, бери побольше, посыпай. Только с одной стороны? Нет, мы сейчас с обеих да. сторон. Немного сыпите, да нет? Не-не-не, это а -а -а, не соленое, тут все. А, понятно. Просто только используется это. Ясно. Помощник, Алеша, молодец какой. Сам поймал, ну, да, сам приготовил, умница. ну и сам бы съел. Так я буду есть. Молодец, Мужчина. молодец, умничка. Ты прям мало, да? взрослеешь. Не, нормально, Алеш, нормально. Взрослеешь, родной. Прям пальцами, пальцами можешь помогать себе. Выбирай себе котлету. И Давай пальцами можешь... чувствуй, пальцами я чувствуй, котлет, есть там или нет не косточки. Это моя ложечка, вроде, нет, чтобы... это вроде нет, но пробуй тогда. Давай, вроде. И аккуратно, не спеша я, жуй. Я Нету? Угу. Ну вкусненько? Ну молодец, кушай. Да? Все. Теперь идем. Пойдем. We are going to feed the fishies so that tomorrow we might catch more. Oh, oh. class. Угу. Да. Ничего страшного, Алеш. Нормально ты кидаешь, Алеш, ничего не кривовато. Мам, знаешь что? М -м. Разные места кидать кривянку это неправильно. Я поняла. Только рыба тогда туда-сюда будет плавать. М -м, точно, а место, точно. Там, а, будет... Ты прав, Алеш. Ну видишь, я не знала этого.
I'm calling Val to tell him how things went today and to ask him how he is. He misses us very much when we leave, like every time. This time he even asked me not to take the dog with us. He said that it will make him feel even more lonelier. I have to be really quiet. Kids are already asleep. As you can see, Alex is snoring so loudly. Actually, I don't know why he snores. Usually he doesn't. Well, it was a nice day. I hope you also had a nice day. Have a good night.